Welcome to Longfield Hall's Celebration of Dance, Movers and Shakers. Yes, it's me, Louisa McAlpine, Director of McAlpine Dance, and we've been resident at Longfield Hall for 26 years. Cannot believe it. Now, I want you to concentrate on something. I want you to lift up your abdominals, use your glutes, relax your shoulders, and listen to the instructions I'm about to give you. Please grab your drinks and take your seats for tonight's performance. In the event of an emergency, a technical disaster, we may momentarily disappear from your screens, but do keep streaming. We will be back in one form or another. Tonight's performance will not include an interval. So do make sure your refreshments are at your side and you choose your toilet breaks carefully. We would like to remind you that flash photography is permitted but we recommend screenshots. We ask that all mobile phones are switched on so that you can phone your friends and tell them what a wonderful show this is and to ask them to start streaming immediately. Please now ensure that you have washed your hands and that you are at least two meters, or is it one meter apart? And grom back more yourself into this show. And now please put your hands together as we introduce our hosts for this evening, Adam Courting and Kate Sterling. Oh. I'm starting off on mute. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, I'm so amazing. excited. Right. <laughs> Good We're evening, everybody. <laughs> Unbelievable. And welcome to our virtual show, Celebrating Dance, now in its fourth year, Movers and Shakers. <laughs> yes, here we are streaming live again from our bedrooms for the third oh, yeah. online evening here for Longfield Hall. I'm very excited. Yes, tonight we'll be welcoming dancers and choreographers who have been busy creating new dance videos that reflect their time in lockdown. We'll be chatting to some of them and finding out about their work and how they stayed connected during this tricky time. Yep, so I think we should have a little look at what we've got coming up tonight. Oh, let's do that. Am I mute? Am I, am I, am I muted? No, I can no? hear you now. I can right. hear you now. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. But first, I'm going to give you a little tour of the venue for tonight. Whether you are watching on Facebook or YouTube, let us know you're here by leaving a lovely comment in the comments feed. And if you're lucky, we'll show them in the broadcast. Look, we've got one already. Thank you, Madeline. I am just as excited as you. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even write that one earlier either. Madeline did that for us. Uh, so yes, please do keep commenting as we go throughout the evening. Also, we've got this cool tickle tape, tickle tape, ticker tape down the bottom here. Um, follow that. You'll be able to see where you can come and donate as well for this evening via PayPal. Um, and obviously, we really appreciate any donations that you can make. The link is also in the event description. So go yeah. and click on those links. All donations received tonight will be shared between our artists. Mm. Absolutely. And if you're enjoying it so far, which of course you are, then go and text your mates and go and get them involved as well. Yes. And your mum and your dad. Yes. Everyone, basically. And everyone else, uh, also other carers that may be involved. So Absolutely. take photos, screenshots, and share them with us on the social medias at Longfield Hall on pretty much everything. Use the hashtag... Movers and shakers. <laughs> so I believe our very first performer of the night is ready and waiting backstage. There, there she comes. <laughs> <laughs> so our very first guest this evening joined us at the Longfield Hall celebration in May. This is Michaela Sisarakova. Yes, Welcome. everyone. Well done, everyone. Let's have a warm <laughs> Michaela, who's been Patiently waiting in our backstage area, our green room area backstage. How are you, Michaela? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. 
Oh. Uh, you're so welcome. And you're presenting, uh, let me just double check, uh, two pieces for us tonight. Is that correct? So the first is your lockdown piece, which we're going to have a look at in just a moment. And then you're going to be doing a live little bit later on in the show. Yes, I am. So uh, tell us a little bit about that, if you can. About the live one or the one you're about to see? Well, why don't you just tell us a little bit about both? <laughs> tell us about the one coming up first. Yes, yeah, so the one you got about to see, it's called Color, color Coded. And uh, it happened very early on at the beginning of the lockdown. And I was like, oh, what are I going to do? All I've got is a room and phone. So it started and lots of clothes. So what I did was I did every day. Uh, I put different outfit on, all my colors because I love colors. So you will see in a minute, you will see all my wardrobe clothes. And uh, I improvised and a little bit choreographed some of the section so it uh, fitted on all the boxes. So that's a little bit about that. And the one, gonna, yeah. pardon? sorry, you go. <laughs> no, the one you're gonna see later. So you can already start to think about some words, and I will interpret interpret them and uh, freestyle or improvise uh, as you're going to say the words so you can leave some in the comment in the chat or as you see me later on in the evening you can write uh, wherever it's inspired you in the lockdown fantastic okay so if everyone just to make sure that we get the right words in if you could type <laughs> mcdc and space and then put your word in then i'll know exactly what it is and i'll shout the right word at her and not just start saying great show <laughs> good colors great coding so um i think it's time for us to have a look at your commission color coded so uh, just, just quickly... before we go there adam oh. i'm just going to overcut you there michaela sorry i've got a question that we're going to ask everybody tonight oh. um so no pressure or anything there's not not a big moment here but um who or what is your latest inspiration to your work or for your work mm, that's interesting i mean in the moment like in the few weeks or months i would say probably nature that's where I spend most of the time, like walking around. Um, so it's mostly that, probably letting go of the emotions because I haven't been dancing as much. I wasn't inspired indoors or by Zoom. Um, so definitely nature. Amazing, right. I think we can hold them back no more. So <laughs> let's take a look at the video for Color Coded. Enjoy. <laughs> yes, I am a ninja. <laughs> I broke the chains before they choked me out. Uh, now I pay close attention, yeah. really learn the code. Uh -uh. I learned to read the map before bounce I hit the road. Hey, yo, I know you never heard this before, yeah. but I'd rather lose a fight than miss the war. And I ain't wishing competition or fishing for it. I'm just living in a system, conditions are poor. I've been lost in the rhythm and misinformed. Too many late nights hitting the liquor store. Too many bad decisions, half ass attempts. No sweat, no fear, no blood, no tears. I go hard, and I ain't making up no excuse. I'm overdue, I don't do what I'm supposed to do. Cause you can think about it, man, we're supposed to lose. It ain't all picture perfect ocean views. No, I was a first class rookie, taking out bullies in my all black hoodie. Man, a mystery, you know the history Get it or forget it, cause poof, I'm out of here I read the rules before I broke them I broke them, uh -huh. I broke the chains before they choked me out Brilliant, that was fantastic uh, as you can see, I've been very inspired by that video. Uh, so I have now gone color coded. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot more from Michaela later. So do not forget to use the comments box, MCDC space, and then the word you would like for her to interpret. Brilliant. Um, Adam, you've set a bar now. I'm gonna have to go dig out for some other costume. Look, I've got some sunglasses here. So I'm adding some color. Uh, so now last month, we set a little challenge for the under 18s of Southwark and Lambert to create and choreograph their own lockdown inspired dance films. Oh, and what a response we've had. We had over 30 submissions of inspiring work from these lovely young people. And they were so good, to be honest. It was near impossible to choose the winners, but we've had to, and they will be announced later in the show. However, we were so impressed with the quality of the work that we thought it'd be a shame not to show some of the incredible, incredible, 
Oh, you're just showing off now. Incredible pieces that were sent <laughs> into us. So we have made a runners up video of some of the latest talent that we've had the joy of watching. Let's take a look. Roll camera. I mean, if those are the runners up. Skills. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. Up. Puts me to shame. I should put the swimming costume away, really. Anyway, now our next dance group is absolutely no stranger to Longfield Hall, and we absolutely love seeing them, meeting them, chatting with them. But this is their first time joining the Movers and Shakers evening. Absolutely. Just a little shout out there. Go Tara. Go Tara. Be <laughs> so. We are talking about Elevation, who are a youth dance group led by the 18-year-old choreographer Giovanni Patrick. They began with a group of five in 2018, just five, and have now grown into a large dance crew of 15 young dancers from all over South London. Now, before lockdown, Elevation practiced every week at Longfield Hall, and they're part of our youth programme as well. So, let's take a look <laughs> at how they've kept moving. Oh, it's just all such fantastic stuff. Every time I see a video, oh, I just Adam. kind of want to get involved. So, um, Adam, I don't yeah. know. This is getting a bit embarrassing now. I'm going to have to start drawing things out of my wardrobe. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is all just, you know, a little something that I just found lying by the camera. So before we go to our <laughs> next act, just a reminder that you can use the comments box right down there to let us know that you're watching and use the hashtag movers and shakers on the socials at Longfield Hall. So please do yeah, tag us. Either. And if you're able to make a donation, the link can be found in the event description. All donations will go towards the artists and their projects that their projects, their projects that have joined us this evening. <laughs> if you're enjoying it, text the mate, because we've got so much more to come. We do. And genuinely, we really do like seeing these comments pop in. Look, love this. Afro beats. Yes. I mean, me saying that, that was really bad. Sorry. Um, and also, if I was to try that 
headscarf there, Adam. I would, I've got a headband. I'll try the headband later. That can come out later on. Um, but you saw in the intro, before I get a little carried away, um, and we're so, so happy to finally have her live on the show. It is the one, the only, Louisa McAlpine, director of Longfield Hall's Resident Scott Dance School that have been running for 26 years, which is just incredible. McAlpine Dance. Yes, Where yes. Is she? is she here? Let's bring there her in. Is. Down below. Hello. 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 Yeah. Oh, it's great to be to be part of this. It's wonderful just watching the last elevation and and the, out in there dancing it was amazing. Really, really, really good to see. And thank you for your wonderful <laughs> intro as well to the show. Yes, that was beautiful. Very much appreciate. Took the pressure off me and Kate. Yeah. <laughs> and also if I try and put my leg on a bar like that, well, I mean, that's just not going to end well, so we won't oh, go there. That old, leg, that old wooden leg that I use for those. <laughs> I don't know. You give yourself a bit of a hard time. The Ginger Nuts is loving Curtin's uh, headwear, by the way. And uh, Rosalind McAlpine is saying, yes. yes. Oh, look, Louisa, you're getting so many comments here. I can't keep going. Pain. Yes. Fuck, we should have a whole night. Oh, that's so sweet. You are very, very popular, Louisa. Um, oh. Now, also, because you're so popular, you're going to be joining us twice this evening and um, we're about to watch your lockdown inspired video but tell us about the class that you're going to be teaching later on in the evening well later on i'm going to be teaching a minuet and it's just a little idea of how a minuet goes because obviously it takes years of, of teaching to learn the 18th century minuet but i'm basically accompanied with david my husband and he's going to play the cello and then we've got that little added je ne sais quoi with um, Phoebe's joining again, like we did last time with the Charleston. She's going to add a bit of jazz to it and dance much better than me. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, great to have Phoebe back as well. Yeah. Um, I look forward to getting up on my feet and getting a groove on. Well, you um, so your Charleston is fabulous, and I think your minuet will be even more superb. <laughs> I got really hot and sweaty with the Charleston. Am I going to get yeah. hot and sweaty with the minuet? There's not so much twerking. You okay, know, you great. Oh, time. right. <laughs> oh, that's six months of practice gone down the drain. <laughs> Sometimes. I found the twerking very difficult, to be honest. Okay. Right, so um, you two at home, don't forget that let's not let them get away with it, Kate. We want yes. you to get your ballet shoes out or your tap shoes. Yes. Or whatever you wear for a minuet, I might get my toms out uh, and get ready. You know, can wear your crinoline. I'm wearing a crinoline, so I don't see why you can't wear a crinoline there. What's a crinoline? <laughs> I, yeah, I would wear yeah, one. Yeah, you big, you one. big. Your big dress. Ah, oh my gosh. Dress. Obviously, okay. I've got six crinolines at, at the dryers <laughs> now. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you actually do though, Adam, that's the thing, knowing that that's going to come out next. Now, we are going to take a look at your lockdown piece, Louisa, called Transfer and Lockdown. Um, but before we do, tell us a bit about what inspired the video. Well, we were very prepared. We were preparing to be in Movers and Shakers when it was going to be at the lovely Longfield Hall. And then when lockdown happened, I had a tiny bit of footage of us in, in Longfield Hall, which comes in at the end. But mostly it's my wonderful students, um, the grade five, who work on a Baroque um, piece, an, an unaccompanied cello piece. And they use that uh, with movements that I'd asked them to do, which are called transfer of weight, hence the transfer. And uh, that's all incorporated in the Zoom classes, which, which we did together. And we put together and I asked them to work on something in their in their gardens or out outside to show the difference between missing Longfield Hall and uh, dancing still. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, now, we've been asking, uh, I say everyone, we've had Michaela and we've asked her, we're going to ask you as well. Um, so that was the sort of inspiration for the piece. But um, who or what would would you sort of say is the latest inspiration to any, you know, any of the other work you've been doing now? It has to be my pupils, my adults, people who come and um, the young people too. They really are the inspiration, really, I think. It's working with, with dance and movement and that happens to be McAlpine Dance. So they're my inspiration, really. That is the correct yeah. answer. <laughs> um, brilliant. Thank you so much, Louisa. So um, oh. I think it's time for us, we're going to see you a bit later, to have a look at Transfer in Lockdown from McAlpine Dance. Roll it. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, fantastic i got a headband on and thought i was winning at life and then you come and like limber in in those leggings well you know that what i mean say, mcalpine dance louisa <laughs> you and your team spot on there'll be a new generation of dancers as we speak absolutely it really was beautiful sammy very true the power of dance to connect love love it susanna payne agree feeling that absolutely Thanks, susanna so. Boots and cats and boots and cats and. <laughs> Thanks, Red. Lovely. <laughs> yes, they are. are. The future. Yes, they are. Sorry, I'm loving reading all these comments. You're correct, Mr. Jesus Chigley. That yeah, is correct. That's a good Children name. are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Thank you, yeah. Sue. Rado, really lovely. Thank we absolutely you, agree. So yeah, we'll be getting a little Thank class you. ourselves, won't we? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that actually. So don't go anywhere because we will be doing the minuet. Which sounds mm. quite delicate, and I don't, I'm not very good at moving delicately, Adam. What about you? It's fine. I just move all the glassware out of the way and oh, just God. stomp about the house. <laughs> Next up, we have a little <laughs> salsa cubana for us. Yes, from the lovely Madeline Duba, who teaches regularly at Longfield Hall. And we'll be taking a little look at the work from her Cuban dance school, which Watsuzi, I've been practicing this all day. Watsuzi dance. Have I said that you, right, Adam? You just say Watsuzi dance school. Watsuzi. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry, my bad. It's fine. No, dance. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just edit that out. So, <laughs> Watsuzi dance school offers a wide range of dance courses and <laughs> workshops from salsa cubana, son, la rueda de casino, Puerto Rican, Afro Cuban salsa, lady style, and bachata, taught by experienced and fun dance teachers. Well, I don't know how to top that, but from the excitement of salsa and the seductive rhythms of the cha-cha-cha, oh God, I've got to go for this now, and the mambo and the traditional rumba and sun to the blood, I racing energy of Latin jazz performed by professional and accomplished, of course, performers and musicians. Their dynamic, high energy shows promise to add a wow factor to make your event one to remember. So... Is involved. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's take a look at the work they've created over lockdown. <laughs> Are you ready? 
voy patineando. Patineando me voy, me voy. It really gets you in the mood, doesn't it? So just to <laughs> remind you all, please, you can donate to the artists you see tonight via PayPal. Details are in the event description on Facebook and YouTube. And please, 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 please keep your comments coming in, especially if you see some artists you like, let them know. Yes, let them know, because we can then spread the love and we like to spread the love, don't we, Adam? Yes, absolutely. And Re Becky Payne, sorry, loves the costumes and the fact that it's, it is all happening in Mites Field. Absolutely. If you don't know, that's right by Longfield Hall. What are the ginger nuts saying? I want all of these outfits. Yes, yeah, so do I, guys. So do I. It seems yeah. very unfair. <laughs> so, very unfair indeed. Our next guest loves hanging out with us. So she's back for more after joining Longfield Hall for our first online show, as you remember, back in May. Back in May, can you believe it? All that time ago, it feels like a different world. But beginning her career as a contemporary dancer, she developed her skills. And by developing skills, this is like no small development. This is like vast development. Mm -hmm. She's incredibly talented. And mastering her artistic platform essentially in the air, she has a huge passion for creating, for intertwining rope and the body as one. Absolutely. And I hear she's an awesome teacher too. Placing the emphasis on cooperating with your body, feeling and understanding movement mechanics by actively engaging with your senses. Hmm. Yeah, and you know what? Also promoting a sense of self-belief, which is so important. And for that, I love this woman. She's incredible. Seeing that all that we have in ourselves and in others for creating new movement and new things. Now, speaking of the new movement, she seems to move through all these dimensions of space and time so much that she has found her way into our studio space. Oh. Please give it up for Tori McGrory. Come on Woo! in, Tori. Applause. Hi, Tori. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, Great. good. Welcome back. Glad to have you here once again. Where are you Thanks coming to us from? Back. Yes. Where are you today? Southampton. Oh, Southampton, fantastic. Sunny Southampton, well, it's not so sunny right now. <laughs> you look like you've just stepped out of the beach or something there, Tori. I know, I thought this would be a nice, this is like a little tiki hut in here, so I thought it had a I nice vibe. Beautiful. I feel like I'm in Bali. In <laughs> now, how have you kept yourself busy? I don't actually know, I mean, I can imagine how you've kept yourself busy here in lockdown, but tell us a bit about your work and moving during lockdown. Um, well, some days have definitely been busier than others. It's like, I think like most people, you have your, your good days and your bad days. But um, I run a little studio here and for our students, we've been putting together some free fitness classes. And I've been telling them that's been helping me as much as it's been helping them, because if they weren't showing up for them, I probably wouldn't be doing them. <laughs> so that's been, definitely been helpful. I have been getting into the studio, but I found myself, I'm really lucky because I'm kind of like in the countryside, and not really in the city. And we've got like a wood like right on our doorstep. So I've been in that wood more times during this lockdown than I have been the whole 10 years I've lived here. Mm -hmm. And I've just been making it my playground. And I found myself in a new discipline of tree dancing. So um, that's my, that's been definitely keeping me active and creative uh, during this lockdown. And it's been, it's, there's a few injuries that you get from there, a few scrapes and bruises, uh, but, um, but it's definitely fun. Oh, I like this. The sound of this tree dancing. That's right up my street, that is. It's very in tune with nature and you know, natural fitness. I love it. Uh, maybe that'll be a workshop coming to Pineapple Studios near you. Um, so, Bring your own tree. Yeah. So you've created a piece for us called Unlock Your Lockdown. Tell us about the ideas behind creating the video. Well, to start with, I had to admit, like when I first started working on it, I was actually going through a little bit of like a demotivated stage. Um, so in the end, I started to work on some things that I've already been working on. So 
I'd worked on this uh, this task that was actually given to me by a friend. She was um, she was like putting it out to, to people to work on. Her name's uh, Nays Gil Cortez. She's a wonderful dancer and choreographer. And she had this idea of taking a really small space in your house, but trying to dance as like as big as you can, which I thought was just brilliant obviously with what's going on um so i tried so i've been using that to start with because i really feel like as well definitely the stages that i felt myself going through during lockdown starting to feel like really confined so using that really small space idea but then it takes me in towards my new discipline of tree dancing as you'll see and then um seeing how that really started to like boost my motivation a little bit more like being able to get out and then then going into actually being in the studio and being able to do what I really want to do and what I was doing like every day but hadn't been able to before so it was kind of like following like how the, the sort of like progress I've been going through or the process I've been going through since since the lockdown started until finally I mean finishing in the studio but obviously still things aren't quite the way they were but it's still a little bit more to the norm wow you've kept yourself busy in a really good way it sounds like it sounds like you've really kind of adapted to what's been going on um despite the challenges and from that we've got a question that we've been asking everyone uh so don't feel like you're just being targeted here it's just something we're intrigued by but uh we'd like to ask you if you can share with us something or someone or whatever it is that might have inspired um or been your latest inspiration to your work um yes yeah, so i was thinking about this because i think it's like yeah there's there's loads of people i could pick but it's actually someone i've been following more recently and it's actually she does a discipline that i, I actually don't do um but i still just love the way i like it when people take a discipline but then incorporate other disciplines into it so i've, I've really been admiring her work her name's yvonne smink and she's actually whole but she incorporates a lot of like break dance and um and a lot of like um chinese pole to the pole so it's not it's not necessarily what you would think when you think of a, a pole artist so I've I, yeah I've been watching her a lot yeah. recently and just loving loving her flow and how different she is making that apparatus look so yeah I'd say that she's an inspiration for me at the moment fantastic oh lots and lots of ideas flowing there that's brilliant <laughs> um yeah and maybe lots of things that we can all check out so um we've, we've got your deets so we'll, we'll be able to <laughs> check you out right there there we go. So you can follow Tori and check out her adventures. <laughs> and if you're in Southampton, then you can get yourself really involved. Um, and then maybe post lockdown, we can see you in London and around the world. Oh, um, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming into chat. Now we are going to have a look at your videos. So please, everyone, prepare yourselves for Unlock Your Lockdown by Tori McGrory. Strange things happen in my sleep Dreams follow into day I'm hollow Don't tire yourself out Thoughts turning in your head Don't follow Forget Bad thoughts pushing at the neck Puts pressure on the chest Can't sorrow Look close Thank you. 
Um, that was, of course, Tori McGrory. Now, I must remind you, there you go, details below. Um, catch her on Insta and on the website as well. Now, please do not forget, noise, says David West. Noise, we'll be David. coming on later. Oh, there's Michaela as well, what's she saying? Loving the dancing with the tree and the dancing intricacy tree. with the table, beautiful and versatile mover. You are not wrong there, Michaela, you are not wrong there. It's Mr. G Jesus is back. <laughs> Never see I have to before. say, the dancing in the tree was spectacular. And I did say yesterday that I would be like a beached elephant if that was me trying to be on the tree dancing. Um, there is nothing, and no one like Tori who can make me right. look like that. So kudos to you, Tori. <laughs> Absolutely. And we so, look forward um, to seeing you again. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Always. Yes, do not forget, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's a great word. Do not forget to send in your lockdown words for Michaela Sisorakova. Use the comment boxes, write MCDC space, and then the word you'd like for her to inspire her dance. Please remember this is a family show, sort of. Show. So um, <laughs> let's be nice. Um, and then we'll notes for her. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. What's, what have you started? That word has become part of my dialogue. Um, and of course, if you want to make a donation this evening, then you can just find the PayPal ticker tape uh, down the bottom or you can find the link in the event description uh, over, 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 over at Longfield Hall. I'm so excited. Adam, you haven't noticed my costume change. I'm really offended. It's fantastic. It's my eyes because <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses. So <laughs> I can see it's your so face. offended. And actually, I literally look like I've got the You're same sort of now. I know. This is like Sorry. Really um, our next anyway. artist is a regular to me. We spend one second having a bit of bants and it's done. <laughs> sorry, our sorry, sorry. Artist <laughs> is a regular to movers and shakers. Ugeta Pratesi is a London based choreographer, originally from Italy, if you could pick it out for my terrible accent there. She professionally <laughs> trained in the UK. Her style is a fusion of contemporary ballet and jazz with a strong emphasis on storytelling. I'm not going to say that word. Ugessa is the in-house choreographer, choreographer. I'm so sorry tonight. Words are not coming out of my mouth. Uh, for the City Academy Musical Theatre Company and has created several productions uh, for them. She also holds regular dance classes at Pineapple Dance Studios in Contemporary and Jazz. So without further ado, let us welcome Ugetta. Come on in. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Oh, oh, see that you're, me. Uh, you're, you're on mute as well. Ooh. Oh, there you are. You're back. And I'm back. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. I'm here with my gin and tonic, so I'm. Oh, great! Oh. <laughs> Amazing. And where are you in your gin and tonic today? Um. Well, I'm. I'm up right now in my room. My housemates are watching the show from downstairs. Oh, lovely. Tell them to make some comments and 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 yeah, do some liking and sharing. They, they they will their other mates in. <laughs> <laughs> now you get that. Um, firstly, you're sharing your lockdown uh, inspired video project LD made with 15 dancers from seven countries. How on earth did that come about? Um, so basically, uh, just before we went into lockdown, we were uh, me with another couple of artists from London and some from New York, we were about to do a dance evening in London for um, fundraising for a, a Social Creativa, which is a charity in Peru that some of us have worked there before. And, uh, but we went into lockdown. So the show was canceled. And uh, so I wanted to somehow keep everyone connected. And lots of people, I think when we went into lockdown, lots of people that live in London went away from London, lots of people went back to their home countries. So we decided to keep connected and uh, um, and we did this project. So we rehearsed once a week for like a month um, on Zoom. And then we put the footage together. Um, a videographer uh, that I've worked with before, Christopher Gray helped me put the footage together. And that's how the project was, was born, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the concept behind it? It's called Project LD. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, so basically, um, I think after the first week of lockdown, it became quite clear to me the uh, the spaces that I had to spend my time. They were like my room, my sofa. Uh, I was looking at the window a lot. And so we, um, I divided the the video in like I think it was like five locations that everyone uh, had. So uh, the sofa, the window um, is outside space um, and uh, a corridor. So and each each part was kind of like related to a slightly different emotion. Um, but I want I wanted like a continuity that went through all of the videos, and uh, that's how yeah that's how I planned it. Nice, nice. Oh gosh, we've gone a bit close up. Ah. Freak me out. Um, you guess I think we better take a look at this incredible video. 
<laughs> Fingers crossed. Wow, 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 wow. That Do not was hurt. <laughs> just wow. Oh, great stuff. Um, Thank yeah. you. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've got another video from you, and I think you will probably do it the best justice. So if you would like to introduce your second piece for us, please, I will shut up. Okay. So um, the, the, uh, the second piece, um, I was inspired to do it by... Um, a location that I saw on my weekly, daily walks around Tutankhamun. But then with the recent events that have been happening, I wanted to do something um, to uh, around the Black Lives Matter movement. And so I decided to, I asked um, Louisa uh, from uh, Mecca Fine um, Dance 
if she wanted to put me in touch with one of her students uh, because I wanted this project to be um, a, a place for somebody else to tell her story. Uh, so um, I, I've met this girl, uh, Demi, she is a lovely student of Louisa and the, the video is um, it was created between me, her, and my um, my flatmate Emma as well. Uh, we started conversations. We started talking. We decided what uh, we want to the video to be about. And uh, so I've described it as a, a visual portrait through movement, and it's just um, me getting to know this uh, this girl and uh, uh, what she wanted to. Uh, what she had to say about her experience. That's just beautiful. <laughs> um, we, I guess I have been asking everyone this, and I don't know whether your answer just then kind of plays into this, but we've been asking everyone um, who your most recent dance or movement or just inspiration in general has been. Is there any one or anything that's kind of stuck out for you particularly? Um, I think because I've, we've been spending, and. Uh, like usually in in London, you're always outside. You're always doing things. You're always busy. Um, so I think having spent a lot of time inside and just like talking to to my friend, uh, like not just my friend in the flat, but like um, I've spent lots of time having conversations with people because there's only a, a certain amount of Netflix that you can watch. And so I think just like having conversations and the people around me. Uh, They've been inspiring me in this time to create things. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that that, yeah. Makes, that that makes great sense, and I think it's a solid, solid ten out of ten answer. So thank you for that. <laughs> maybe even um, an eleven. Maybe actually even a twenty, even more than that. Um, but Ugeta, thank you, and um, thank you for joining us this evening. And well done again for all the work you've created. It's just incredible. Uh, so now I think let's yeah. take a look. So so sorry, I cut you off. What was that? No, uh, thank you guys, you've been great. Oh, <laughs> not at all. We're, we're here for you. Um, so let's take a look at Conscious Uprising, created with and featuring uh, Demi Akande. My name is Demi. I'm 23 years old and I live in London currently. My ethnic background is uh, Black British and I'm the second generation of family members uh, who originate from Nigeria. I think I would describe myself as someone who's calm and that's what most people have told me. Um, I'm inquisitive in terms of I like asking questions and just in general like challenging things that I don't you know like assumptions we can make. Uh, so I studied English and philosophy at university. I had two two female lecturers, which no other department has um, in the whole of the UK, and they made it compulsory for students on the syllabus, on any syllabus that they chose, to have at least one ethnic minority philosopher and one female philosopher. I was I really appreciated that because I think it just enabled me to see that it depends how on the individual and what they do to you know I guess break down barriers and allow for diversity um, in areas where they have the power to inflict it I really appreciated that and I think that I'll take that with me and I'll continue to also use policies like that and enforce policies like that wherever I go from my journey through that I think one of one of the writers I came across on my course was a writer called Virginia Woolf and she wrote a book, A Room of One's Own, which really, she talks a lot about writers, but I think female, any kind of female artist comes under this book, uh, especially during these times, she talks about how it's really important for women to have a room of their own, which entails having uh, resources from finances to time, to create and engage in her art um, because then she can continue to strengthen her place in society and her position. Um, so yeah, it's such a, it was such a really good read and it's a very short read as well. I would recommend it. 
So, so far I've been supporting the movement, um, the Black Lives Matter movement in various ways. The most interactions I've had has been on social media, uh, particularly engaging with uh, artists that I've discovered uh, who I didn't know about, but who become more prominent in the movement. Um, you know, for the promotion of their artwork, their businesses. I've done a lot of race studies, actually. Um, through my philosophy studies, I've, done, I've covered identity issues such as race and gender. So really, it was just about re-educating myself on kind of the discourse and what people have read about it. It's really a collective uh, responsibility for everyone to educate themselves, to spread awareness, kind of make the difference where we can um, and to not shy away from the topic. Even though we're kind of in a hub in London, we might not be aware that not all places are like. Uh, it's really important to stay in tune and educate ourselves, keep an open mind. Um, so I first took up ballet um, after I saw a display at my secondary school. There I was really inspired and I decided to take up classes. That was around age 12. Um, so it's given me a lot of discipline and it's taught me a lot about perseverance and endurance as well. It's really helped me build up strength and stamina, making something look easy when in fact it requires a lot of um, strength and technique. There's so much to learn from it. Um, and so when I actually compare that, my passion for dance with the Black Lives Matter movement, I think there's a lot of similarities to be drawn in the fact that when we move forward, it's also about understanding how we can not be afraid of like doing other things, doing things differently, um, not, not being afraid of being the first as well to lead. When I started dancing, you know, I, I didn't know of a lot of people who also did ballet. I think I was probably the only one in my friendship group that did it. And being able to embrace that and not being afraid because in a way I think that has inspired others as well. In terms of the movement, we should also find ways to do things differently and not being afraid to risk that, whether that's through campaigning, whether that's through, you know, raising awareness of issues that maybe haven't been talked about yet or haven't been exposed. Um, so I think um, a phrase to kind of leave with um, is something that I've come across actually, um, it's called conscious uprising. I think it really does reflect the times that we're living in right now in terms of people are awake. Um, we're aware that there's certain aspects of society that are flawed and maybe we've been asleep for too long to have noticed it, but now there's definitely there's more of an, an, kind of an awakening really is what we're experiencing right now, which is why I think conscious uprising for me sums up the experience um, of kind of coming out of our slumber and actually acting, um, challenging issues that have been taking place for too long. So, yeah. I mean... Dance can do many things, but I did not expect that. That was fantastic. I know. Um, yeah, I d you know, we can dance and have fun with it and dance and think and dance and listen and start a conversation. So thank you to Demi Akande, to Ugeta Pratezi, and of course to Louisa McAlpine for also helping to put that together. Absolutely, Sophie Thompson. Bravo. Dream always. <laughs> Amazing. There's Louisa. Incredibly moving. Yes, yes, yes. That's fantastic. Now, before we move on to the next segment, as we sort of process that and allow that to kind of just settle in our bodies, I just want to say, usually there are three amigos here. You can only <laughs> two. Uh, we neglected. It was our fault to mention earlier on that, that we so do sorry. have a third amigo, but she is lurking about in the abyss, hiding. So everyone, please um, stand up and raise a glass to Laura Harling who is indeed pulling the strings, popping <laughs> out messages and keeping us on time. She's a legend. She's still here. And I'm <laughs> on to the next section. There so, it is. We've been waiting all night for that. 
Thank Lovely. goodness she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know she's definitely there. Now it's that time of the evening to announce our winners of the Under 18 Lockdown Dance Challenge. You saw the runners up earlier, and now we're going to see those that claim the top spot. <laughs> uh, so now, in no particular order, the winners are Lucy Webb, who's aged 15, yeah. Abundance Le Depot, yes, sorry, Abundance Le Depot, who is aged eight, which is incredible, <laughs> as is your age, Lucy, of course, uh, Patrick Brown, aged eight as well, and Anna Lee, aged nine. But to be put to shame here, I think, Adam. <laughs> yes, let us take a look at what they created. Thanks, Madeline. <laughs>
Brilliant, brilliant. Congratulations, <laughs> Lucy, Abundance, Patrick and Anna. Kate, I can see you've got a headband on. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah it's done. Oh, look at yeah. this. Well, I'm trying. I've lost my hairbands. Oh, so yes, look, here we go. Me. Important note. He said it before. And he'll say it again. These young people truly are the future. You they are not really wrong, are. Mr. Chigley. You are not wrong. So they really are. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, what time is it now, Kate? <laughs> well, Adam, I dare I say it. I think we're ahead of schedule today. <laughs> Look, my hair's so excited it won't stay up. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to go so far the other way that we're going to ruin it all, and we're going to go completely off the, off the thing. Bumps. Yes, uh, Natal Natalina says thumbs up. There yeah, we go. Yeah, there it is. Bravo. Okay. What's happening next? Well, Adam, you've got the tux on and I've actually got my, uh, look, do you like my, sh my shorts? Lovely stuff. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't have any skirts because I'm not quite girly enough yet. I but look, I've got, got my leg warmers already. ready. You Brilliant. can't really see them probably, but they're you, my nice warm winter ones. If you haven't got the clue yet, everyone, this is the time for you all to get up and be standing. Get up yeah. on your feet. Obviously, yeah. we're a bit restricted here by the length we can stand up. But um, I'm on my feet, and obviously I've got my sweats on, and uh, I'm super ready to go because it's time for a McAlpine dance class, which is literally the best thing ever. Um, so how are you getting on, Adam? You ready to go? What have you I got there in the good. bottom half? I'm good. My camo leggings still on for flexibility. So obviously. if you are ready at home, everybody stand up, be standing. Yes, if you are children in the house, get the adults to stand up now. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Um, here is the one and only Louisa McAlpine here to teach us a minuet or a minuet. Sounds like a minute, but play video. Hi, everybody. I'm Louisa and this is my husband, David. Now, last time we met, we did the Charleston. But this time, can't believe it, we're doing the Baroque minuet. So... We're going to start off talking about it. Now, when I do a minuet, dance a minuet, I'm thinking of the counts. They are a funny sort of rhythm. You start off with a step and a bend. I'm going to show my legs so that you can see what my feet do. We do a step and a bend, and then a step, a step, and step, and a bend. We do that again, yes? Yeah? So you can see how we're doing. One, then two, three, four, five, bend six, then you can go sideways. Step, bend two, three, four, step, bend six. Every time you step on the first beat of the bar on your right foot. What about us having a little go at that? This music, baby. Can we try? <laughs> Here we go. Charleston and we did that with a wonderful feeling of the 1920s. Now she's going to add to us and she's going to do a minuet but with a feel of jazz about it. How about that? <laughs> Shakers. Have a lovely evening.
<laughs> well, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> and it was excellent having Phoebe with us too, wasn't it? She just added that little bit of je ne sais quoi. <laughs> well, this is wonderful to have a continuous of you. Of Amazing. It, it's like, uh, like <laughs> learn to, to, to exit a scene just like we do. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm just like, I'm sure that should have been quite so much like hard work. Like, 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 like that felt like hard work again. Yes. Um, uh, Ginger Nuts, guys, whoo! you nailed it. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> love Thanks, the Ginger Nuts. On the minuet. Thanks, Susanna. Um, Natalina, I want to learn. You kind of just did, but this will be available on the Longfield Hall Facebook page. <laughs> Watch this again. Uh, is use my thanks, Louisa. Era. We'll I pay you later. Fine there. Um, <laughs> brilliant stuff. That's Love so that. Hot. Keep Emmy's watching those oh. outtakes. Absolutely. Um, now I'm going to move on. Andre Scheffler. Oh, those bloopers. Amazing. Isn't that just the best thing about things that are recorded? The bloopers, Rebecca. Wonderful, yes, wonderful stuff, Louisa. Wonderful stuff, Phoebe. So, we've got someone itching to come on. I don't want to hold him back anymore. Um, he's a regular to our movers and shakers evening, a choreographer, a producer, an artistic director for EQ Dance Company, and of course, a dancer. Yeah, <laughs> so his choreography style is dance, uh, theater based using both contemporary and street dance movement vocabulary. So, here to tell us more is the man himself. Please give it up for David West. Come Round of applause for David. Woo! Hello there, David. Where are you joining Hi. us from this evening? Oh, cheers. Thanks for having me, guys. You are so oh. welcome. You are so welcome. Oh. Where, whereabouts are you, David? Oh, sorry. Uh, so, I'm uh, in Scotland. Oh, you're far away. Ah, uh, a wee bit. Hi. Is how did you end up there? You were with us before in London, right? Yeah, uh, but unfortunately, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, due to like the pandemic and stuff, I had to um, come up here. You know, I had my asthma as well. And I was living in London at the time. Um, actually, fun story is I got here like literally one day before lockdown. So that was calling it tight. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot safer for me being home and stuff. And I think it's very important, especially... Uh, Imagine what you will agree is like, you know, self care is the best care, and you've got to look out for yourself. It's time for family, so it's important they come together in these times. Cannot put it better myself. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so tell us a little bit about your company, EQ Dance. So, um, my company, we, um, uh, well, we're a dance company, and um, our main focus is like um, conveying mental health messages and, um, you know, uh, we recently did a show back in March called Love Your Mind, um, a great term, I think uh, you can agree. Um, and yeah, we just want to increasingly do more platforms like that. We currently have uh, events and workshops coming up as well, so you can check us out on our website, which you saw the deeds before. So yeah, we just try and post that message within, you know, the way we know how, which is dance. So. Brilliant. So you will be sharing with us your lockdown inspired video with, without, in a short while. Can you tell us a bit more about the idea behind that? So um, it comes out from when they do uh, the still for ages. And I mean, a better time than any, you know, with the time I've got on my hands now. So it's, um, it's really, uh, I think one of the things we, I, I see is that when we look at intimacy, especially if you just put it in a Google search engine, it, it usually looks like it requires somebody else. But I think it's quite important that you are intimate with yourself. Um, so that's kind of what I've done with this solo um it's just exploring you know uh loving yourself and putting it in within the lockdown context because um i can agree uh, a lot of you can maybe agree uh, watching now is that you know with and without you know um you know loved ones um being able to touch each other which as a dancer that's obviously what i do as a job but as a human being and you know we, we are really starting to appreciate that now. So I thought that was really important to kind of touch. And that's why, how the title came about, you know, with and without what right now. So I think that's a big conversation that's happening amongst many people right now. Yeah, definitely. And it's so refreshing to hear you talk about it, to be honest, in such a way, so open. Um, and I'm, I know I'm making a huge generalization here, but mm -hmm. I think especially from 
a male perspective, it's harder, or maybe it's not such an open platform for men. And I, I speak as a woman, so I could be completely wrong, but to be so open about these things like touch and intimacy. So I think it's incredible that you're yeah. exploring it and talking so openly about it. I think it is very important because, I mean, um, you look at the suicide rate and 75% of that is men under 40. So I think it's very important. And I think I have a responsibility as well as a man to be able to be talking about these things openly. And, you know, it's also, you know, um, learning what to share as well and knowing what, you know, you need for yourself um, as well and what you need to kind of work on, especially, you know, um, protecting yourself in the online life as well, especially this can be even more important going forward. Um, but, you know, I'm, um, the conversation we had is fearless. Um, but I think to, it's not necessarily fearless, it's about feeling, you know, the fear and doing it anyway, and that's how you grow in general life, not just in the mental health aspect, but just the growing up and um, growing self-awareness within oneself as well. So, yeah. oh. self-experiment is the word, I think. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's fantastic. And I think it's important that we sort of change the face of, of so the, the face of, you know, performers and dancers, but also the people delivering the messages. I think it's quite nice um, that we, we don't just assume that, that certain people are the ones that actually um, are able to share. You know, all men need to kind of get to a position where they can share, just like all people need to kind of be comfortable enough to say, you know, I'm suffering from something um, and I need to you know, I need to talk to someone about it or I need to not yeah. bottle it up inside. So yeah, looking after your mental health is absolutely paramount. Yeah, you're number one. Yeah, absolutely. You have to get that tank filled up here first before you can yeah, help absolutely. share and spread that around. Um, David, thank you so much for being so open about that. Really appreciate it. And moving on from that as well, we've been asking everyone this question about um, who is your perhaps most recent dance or movement or just any inspiration in general? Um, I think someone who shapes me, I've never met them, but there's an um, entrepreneur called uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. I mean, he's inspired me as like someone who's like, I've got a bit of hustle me. That's kind of my family thing anyway. But also like a big, a, you know, big pioneer in like a company culture. And I try and like really um, take care of my guys as well. And like, um, you know, I'm checking with them, you know, at the moment, like doing one-to-ones and just saying like, how are you good? What's going on? Um, so I think, and you know, and I do that with people as well. So um, he's a big um, inspiration for me and um, pioneering that sort of mentality. So fantastic! Um, thank you so much, David, for joining us this evening and thank for sharing you. your thoughts as well as your work. Um, I think now it's time that we take a look at his video. So everyone, please prepare yourselves for with without. <laughs>
Great stuff. David West, everybody. That was incredible. Absolutely. That was incredible. Um, we look forward to the, the next work that comes out of you and EQ. Um, and yes, we'll keep an eye on the socials to see what you carry on with. Now, before we move on to our final act of the night, ah, we must say, everybody, we have Michaela Sisarakova about to do some live improv based on your words. And we'd like to get a few more words in now. So if you have access to a computer, you are able to type please get onto the um, event page and go to and type in MCDC space and chuck in a word. Don't mind what it is. There will be some sort of like rude word filter, but anything else is good. <laughs> uh, things that you can see in front of you, uh, things that you're feeling now, maybe some that you ate this morning. What other cool that's going in there. Um, thank you. But yeah. So MCDC space and then chuck in a word for us. We'll see if we can get some last. Oh, She's getting ready for it. She's getting ready for it. Laura, I'm how so are you on there with the words? So, so ready. Laura is our, um, is our, what's the word, Adam, when you have a filter? What's that called? Like the filter. A filter. Yeah. <laughs> is our sensor. Laura is a filter. I should have worn this all along. Yes. I'm feeling very so, Don't right forget. Now. Let's go Let's for go it. Let's go for it. Okay. Fantastic. 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 Um, so, kind of, I've, I've already done a spoiler. You've kind of like, like, yeah, we've, well, yeah, I mean, we're basically at the end of the evening, which is really, really sad, but it means that we have this incredible piece from Michaela Sisarikova. I'm so sorry, guys. Tonight, my uh, communication skills have not been 100%. Um, so it's gonna be improvised dance. And last time this happened, it was incredible. I have to say, I didn't know what to expect. And it was just amazing to see what Michaela created. Um, so Adam, what do you reckon? Are we ready to bring Michaela back in? Absolutely. So everybody, we're going to, using your lockdown inspired words, plus anything you might be feeling tonight, we are going to bring in Michaela Sisarakova and see what happens. Come on down, Michaela. Woo, welcome yes. back, Michaela. So are you, are you feeling ready, Michaela? Yeah, I'm actually a bit nervous tonight. <laughs> oh, really? What's yeah. different about tonight? Why are you feeling nervous tonight? You're such a pro. You don't need to be nervous. <laughs> No, and not just nervous, but uh, watching everyone today's born today was something special about tonight. I don't know if the dance portrays more emotion, but it was uh, very inspirational, and uh, I got a bit touchy tonight watching all the shows. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, all the performers. Brilliant Ooh, stuff. Um, also, because um, you can just keep chucking words in, you can also think about words related to what you'd like or what you desire after lockdown, okay? So the world that you want to see or the life that you would desire afterwards, MCDC, look, she's getting warmed up there, <laughs> right. and then put that word in. Laura will ping them up. And can you hear me, Michaela? Yes, I can. And then I will, I will just clearly pronounce, uh, uh, give us a double thumbs up. Are you ready doing that? Give us a jump if you can hear me. Excellent work. I think you are ready. Uh, Kate, is it is it time? Adam, I can't wait any longer. I think okay. it's time. Okay, everyone. So please prepare for this wonderful improv from Michaela Sisarakova. Hit it, Laura. Chicken nugget. Smashing. Weatherspoon. Chill.
Paracetamol, Papa Paracetamol. Love wins. Love, love wins. Johnson, Boris Johnson. No. <laughs> I've got the description for him, or what to do as him. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Boris broke the improvisation. Yeah, thank he did. you. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is incredible. Oh, thank you so much. Amazing, that was amazing. Michaela. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for interpreting that so well as well. I feel like this is going to be a running thing now. We're just going to have yeah. you and it's a, a wonderful way. As you can see, her details are below. Please follow and support Michaela Sisarakova of MCDC, dancer and choreographer. So you can get her in to help you with your project. Insta at MCDC underscore CO. And you can also go to www mcdccompany.com oh, oh, oh. yes you can Michaela thank you so much again for joining us this evening and I cannot wait to see you online here again soon maybe even in real life who knows who knows yeah. anything is possible yeah I'll be in real life next time yeah that'd be great we can have a g and t with you <laughs> lovely stuff any final messages you'd like to send out to everyone Michaela just enjoy dancing wherever you can or just want to or just get the energy out if it's good, bad or just relax, just dance. Brilliant. Love Thank that. you. What a perfect way to end. Good night, Michaela. Thank you. Well, Ooh. unfortunately, that is it for tonight. Um, we've had such a great treat. Please, everyone, give a big round of applause at home for all of our movers and shakers that came on the show. <laughs> Lots of hearts. Yeah, lots, lots, lots and lots of lots of lots of love hearts. Um, and we're actually also sadly at the end of our online season, which oh, I no. had to double check that in this in in our, oh, in our script here because that's really sad. Okay, well, um, that's a bit sad, but we do have one more show to end the season. We do, um, we do. A bit of the bard, and it'll be on the thirtieth of July. Wait, yes. Wait, there a sec. You carry on. Oh, I'm just gonna right. Get okay. No pressure. But he's gone with his snazzy shirts and his headbands and all that jazz. Um, so up next, and to conclude our online season, lockdown live, uh, we have unseen. So basically, Unseen is where a company of actors will be reverted to the methods used by Shakespeare's company of only having the immediate cues and lines. Now, this is where Adam comes in and says. Yes, they will never rehearse together. But I have a feeling that Adam here, here he is, is behind the scenes doing something. Adam, what have you got One on? Second. Your sparkles have undone me. Oh, my Lord. My Let's just wait for night. Adam to get himself sorted and he can uh, come and... Yeah, sorry. Are it's... you ready there, Adam? Yes, I am. Oh, my gosh. I have my final <laughs> outfit of the night. Wow, that was an exuberant sit down. Um, so, Adam, I was just basically explaining what uh, Unseen is. Oh, yes. Um, the actors on there will never rehearse together. They don't know who they're going to play alongside or indeed what order their scenes will come in. And um, with the added bonus of it all being live online. Sounds like carnage. Can't wait. Let's have a look at the trailer. Hello. And where's the camera? There 
I don't know anything about this. This I this is really hard. <laughs> All I literally hear is the cue line. So is that like every everyone on their screens? Just doing that, right? Okay. Oh god. This is embarrassing. Yeah. So I will be doing full costume changes. Well, this one's me. You should pity me. And then, 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 and I privy. We follow thee. Deep acting. Yep. I didn't need to be as scared as I was. It's a Thursday, is it? Sounds exciting, doesn't it? How do you? Do I log off? Well, it's an exciting event. I mean, it's coming to a screen near you. Can he wait? I can't wait either. I mean, I was just enthralled by that whole video, to be honest. It was fantastic. There we go. The Unseen Thursday, 30th of July, 7.30 p.m. Deets can be found on the Facebook page or on the website www.longfieldhall.org.uk. Um Right, so speaking of Longfield Hall, if you're passing it next week, um, you will see a very slight transformation of the building exterior mm -hmm. as we are fortunate enough to be involved in the scene change campaign, Missing Live Theatre. You may have seen that theatres across the country have been adorned in pink Missing Live Theatre tape. Well, we shall be joining them as we are really missing our live theatre. Yes, we are, um, very much so. And Scene Change began as Dialogue in Strange Times, which was an email conversation between theatre designers uh, as a response to the extraordinary situation that we face. So as businesses began to reopen, obviously the doors of theatres remained largely shut, actually pretty much completely 100% firmly shut. So Scene Change want to highlight the ongoing impact of COVID-19 on our profession. and. What we as an industry, our audiences and our local communities are absolutely missing. Yes, to find out more about Scene Change, check out their website and socials as detailed below. Look at that beautiful ticker tape. And not uh, not to forget either about that you still have a chance to donate as well to PayPal via PayPal. And the link for that is in the uh, description. So you can just go click on, click on the link. Um, and it looks like some cruel fun, really. Uh, let's mm. group for Unseen, 7.30 p.m. Thursday, 30th of July. And it's 100% going to be Bonkers Bard, directed by Open Bar Theatre's Nikki Diss. Yes. Um, now we'd like to say a very big thanks to you all at home for watching our guest tonight. If you enjoyed the show and you think you can make a donation, you know what to do. Um, as Kate said, the link will be found on the website. Um, and uh, thank you all just for watching, for being a great audience, for your comments, your support. Um, and remember, this will remain on the Facebook page. Um, so you can come back and share it later on. Absolutely. Oh. Well, Adam, it's been an absolute joy. Are you going to sing uh, us out tonight? Of course I am. Let me just uh, get in the position. <sighs> <clears throat> First I was afraid, I was petrified. 